up? It's Janelle here. Today I have a small video, um, and I just wanted to share, I don't know, um, it's kind of a little, um, a couple of fun Easter eggs of Pokemon X and Y about the rivals. So Pokemon X and Y's rivals are kind of well known for being really bad. Uh, yeah. My favorite out of the two has to be Trevor and Shauna. So simply because, well, they're kind of the only two that you really get to know if you get to person one on one time. Trevor has a very fun backstory, and I'll get into another reason in a sec why I think Trevor's the best one, in my opinion. But um, I've talked to this guy, and this is for Cable. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together. You know, I've got a kid who's right around the same age as him. He just set off from Valleyville Town on a journey of his own reason. But he's looking all grown up and cool. So, um, since I, you know, I play, I'm playing as a girl, um, and he said that, the NBC said that he has a kid who just set off from Vannyville Town. Um, it's probably, he was as bad as the same age as me, uh, as us, and, um, uh, he's probably looking all grown up now. I, I think that someone said that about Archer. I don't know, something to think about. So what if that's Caleb's father? This is Caleb's mother. Well, I think so. Hmm, I like the look on your Pokemon's face. I bet if you and my Caleb battle each other, you'd both grow from the experience. And then, go over here, Caleb's father. Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. I guess this slide does answer the question, where's Caleb's father? I don't know. Just something you might want to think about. So, yeah. I mean, I guess he could be somewhere around, someone around here, but whatever. Okay, now this is my favorite one. Trevor's my favorite rival for this reason. So go to Lumio City, and this part one's kind of hard to find. Okay. Articuno, let's fly. So you're going to want to try and find Juan A. Plaza, or John A. Plaza, John, John Plaza, Jane Plaza, John A. Ja, Jayun Plaza, Jayune Plaza, blah, 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 Jean de French, <laughs> Professor Sycamore, France. You guys get the picture, Lumio City. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to try and find this. Uh, I'll be right back. John A. Plaza. Or whatever, French. So I'm um, just to show you where it is. It's right next to Hiberno Avenue, um, which is right here. Centrico Plaza. That doesn't really show you anything, but you guys get the picture. So let's see. Okay, let me quickly show you where it is on the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so North Boulevard. You guys get the picture. John A. Plaza. Oh man. John A. Plaza. Okay. So it looks like the Looker Bureau, and you know you're on the right alley because it's the only building or door thing you can click. One sec. Here, the. Here, this, that, this is how you figure out if you're on the right alleyway. Uh, let's see. Let's get off the bike. Let me show ya. It's right right across from the Route 16 gate. So you guys can get you guys can get an idea from there. Okay? And you'll figure it out. You guys are smart. So go in this building right here. And it's not hard to miss since it is like the only house you can go into in Lumios. That isn't of, of importance, I guess. 
So talk to this NPC right here. And I'm going to assume it's his... Yeah, it is. Mom and Dad left us behind to travel around the world, all to train their Pokemon. That's why my little brother, Trevor, has always dreamed of traveling all over Kalos with a Pokedex of his own. Dot, dot, dot. So this leads you to think... And yes, Trevor is from uh, Lumio City. What if Trevor simply set off on a Pokemon journey of his own because... You know, he just... His parents left him and his sister um, just to train their Pokemon and travel the world. So what if Trevor decided to go on his own Pokemon journey because maybe he looked up to his parents or something? Or what if, you know, he decided to because he didn't want to be like his parents where they had children and then they abandoned them or something? Um, yeah, I'm really sorry that I'm really sounding so nasally, guys. I'm really sick right now. Um, but that's beside the point. So this is kind of why Trevor's my favorite rival. You know, that and I mean, when you go into the Frost Cavern, Trevor is like, I am I know I'm always really quiet, and I kind of take the back seat in tough situations, but I'm fine with that. But sometimes I can't be that way. Sometimes I have to, to just step up my game. Sometimes I can't always be quiet. And, you know, he's fine with people seeing him as the quiet one. He doesn't really say anything. He's just kind of coy. He's fine with that. But you know, he understands because sometimes he needs to step up. And that's why I really love Trevor, you know? Um, even more than Shauna. Shauna and Trevor are really the only two rivals in Pokemon X and Y that have, like, a lot of character to them. And you get a lot of moments to see their true colors shine. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to favorite. I don't really care. Just thanks for watching in general. Yeah, bye.